Another shooting this weekend at an apartment complex downriver. It's an area that neighbors say has become a real problem. This time, a 27 year old man was killed at the Renaissance Estates near Visga Road in Jefferson and E course. Priya Mann reports the increase in violence has a lot of folks in that area wanting to move. Loved ones woke up Sunday morning to devastating news. A young father shot and killed overnight. And sadly, this is not the first time shots have rang out in this townhouse complex. They're killing the babies, they're killing the women, they kill, They just act like it's an open season, like it's an okay corral. It's not okay. The anger and grief are palpable after yet another shooting at Renaissance Estates of e -Course. This time, a young man was killed. Because it's kind of crazy down here in e -Course and River Rouge. They're down there killing each other, and somehow the police from Ridge and Eco seem to can't find nobody never that done this, that, that's doing this killing. The family of LaDante Brooks River say the 27 year old was shot repeatedly. You know, it's hitting home because, you know, this is my nephew. I know he wasn't no angel. Don't get it wrong. You get people saying they angels, they angels. He wasn't no angel, but I'm, don't nobody deserve to be shot 10 times. Just last week, worried residents told Local 4 that within days there were four separate shootings. Ebony Stevens was sitting in her SUV with her three year old son in the back seat when a man came up and pulled out a gun. There's a girl in the hospital now. She done got shot up. Innocent bystanders, kids, they need help down here to get this stuff under control. At least 20 of the 200 units here have bullet holes. Neighbors say local police departments need help combating the rise in crime. And it's a shame. They might need to send the FBI, the state police, the county sheriffs. They need some help down here because these kids are killing each other. While some families have packed up and left, those who still live here are fed up. I mean, look at me. I'm a senior. I can't go nowhere without thinking somebody want to shoot us. That don't make no sense. They need some help down here and they need it fast. And last week, property managers told us that they had hired private security, but the last company quit after their vehicle was shot up. They do plan on installing tens of thousands of dollars worth of surveillance cameras. In e-course, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.